Hello friends. Welcome to RS Hope Tutor. I hope all you are doing well. Today we are in solving the questions from quadratic equation. Uh, the exercise number five point three, question number eleven. Sum of the areas of two squares is. 468 meters square if the difference of their perimeter is 24 meters find the two sides of a square so the question is about two squares so we have two types of squares here one is a big square and one is small square sum of their areas suppose i am assuming that the big square side is b and the small square side is s so what is the area of big square area of first square plus area of second square is how much he has given four hundred and sixty-eight. Four hundred and sixty-eight meters square. The area of first square and area of second square is equal to four hundred and sixty-eight. So already I assume that the first square is uh, having the length b. So the area of the first square is b square plus the area of second square. Which is having a side S, so S square is equal to 468. So this is the first equation we got. By sum of the areas, we got the first equation. Now, perimeter of the first square minus perimeter of a second square. Is how much he has given the difference is 24 so 24 so as you know that what is the perimeter of the first square this is 4b 4 into side minus 4 into s why because we assumed the small square with the s side and a big square with the capital B so 4b minus 4s is equal to 24. So if I divide both the sides with 4, what I will get? b minus s is equal to I will get 6. So we can take 4 common in the left hand side and 4 common from the right hand side. 4 4 get cancels, we will get b minus s is equal to 6. Otherwise, just to divide both the side with 4 you will get b minus s is equal to 6 so this is equation number 2 this is major very very important process we done here the first equation we are obtaining from the information the area of first square plus area of second square is 468 so b square plus s square is 468 and the second equation is perimeter of the first square minus perimeter of a second square is equal to 24. So 4b minus 4s is equal to 24, b minus s is equal to 6. So from the both the equations, from both the equations, we can do one thing that I can squaring on both sides the second equation. So first of all, what is the equation I have? So b minus s is equal to 6 squaring on both sides as b s squaring on both the sides. So what happens? So b minus s whole square is equal to 6 whole square. I can do this process. Why? Because of left hand side I am squaring as well as right hand side also I am squaring. If we expand this you will get b square plus s square minus 2bs 
is equal to 36. I just I applied a minus b whole square. a square plus b square minus 2ab. 2 into a into b. 2 into first term into second term is equal to 36. So I got this expansion. Now, so if you observe keenly, so this part, this part I can substitute directly 468. Can't I show? Why because of b square plus s square value is how much? 468. So I am substituting 468 minus 2bs is equal to 36. So if I take to that side minus 2bs is equal to 36 minus 468. So minus 2bs is equal to so what is the difference between these two? So 8 minus 6 that is 2, 6 minus 3 that is 3, 432 with minus sign. So what I got Bs is equal to, this minus 2 is multiplying here, if it moves that side it divides. So 432 by minus 2. So if we divide this, minus minus will get cancels. And you will get it as 2, 1, 6, 216. So I think up to here it is clear to everyone. From both the equations, if I take squaring on both sides the second equation, I got the value of Bs. Now here, question yourself. I yeah, will go further. So this is I am taking it as a third equation. So from first and third, what is the first? B minus S is equal to 6. What is third? B S is equal to 216. From first and third, we can obtain a quadratic equation. How? You will see this. So take anything as a subject. I am taking S as a subject. So 216 by B. So here B is multiplying. If it moves that side divides. This is I am substituting in this equation. So what I will get? B into B minus S. Here this is S value. S value I can write here. So, 216 by B is equal to 6. Now, uh, you know how to simplify this. So, B square minus 216 whole by B is equal to 6. So, B square minus 216 is equal to 6B. So if I take inside 6b, so b square minus 6b minus 216 is equal to 0. So in this way I obtain the quadratic equation. So the, the difference is 6 and the product is 216. We can guess the values here itself but we need to get a quadratic equation. But here is the quadratic equation. So we need to solve as this process. Now, so as you know that how to solve a quadratic equation. So constant with this one. So the what is the product? Minus 216 is the product. So what are the conditions? The product should be minus 216 and the sum should be minus 6 so minus 6 so we have many pair of uh, factors but if I write directly I can write this as 18 12 
so minus 18 12 sir. so if you add these two minus 18 plus 12 so you will get it as minus 6 and if you multiply this you will get it as 216 so this is the perfect match of the pair of factors so I will reuse this so what I can write so v square so here I am adding v square I wrote and 216 minus 216 is equal to 0 so the middle term it is splitting into two ways that is minus 18b minus plus 12b so I reused this one 18 and 12 so in the first two terms I can take b common so b minus 18 and the next next two terms if I take 12 common so b minus 18 is equal to 0 so in the both the terms b minus 18 if I take out common so b plus 12 is equal to 0 so b, a b is equal to 0 if uh, product of two numbers is equal to 0 means first one is equal to 0 or the second part is also 0 so b plus 12 is equal to 0 so I am getting the b value as 18 or minus 12 so minus 18 becomes plus 18 plus 12 becomes minus 12 so here we can cross check we can eliminate one thing so the side cannot be negative we can eliminate this part so definitely the side of a square is 18 meters if you come back so b we assumed that the side of a square side of a big square so b is equal to what have we got it as 18 so side of a small square small square we have taken it as s so how to get s so just we'll go back so b is equal to 18 if i substitute in this equation so what is the equation here b minus s is equal to 6 so b is equal to 18 18 minus s is equal to 6 so that minus s is equal to 6 minus 18 so minus s is equal to minus 12 so s is equal to 12 so by this way I got the value of x but if you come back to the sum the s we assume that the small square side so that is 12 meters so one is 18 meters so second one is 12 meters this is all about the sum I hope you like my videos thank you very much for watching like my videos and subscribe and share to your friends if you have any queries please leave in the comment boxes thank you very much